hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today i am back once again in vault hunters and today is moving day okay so basically this episode is probably mostly going to be us moving our entire space here all of our items to our mushroom island over here as you guys can see Luckily, we have an elytra to make this a million times easier. So, I think we shall start. I mean, I do have some items here that I prepared for this crystal, which we might do find out. We, of course, made this awesome chromatic iron paxel last video, which I really do want to test out. So, we'll definitely do this maybe later on. But for now, I think just before moving, I want to look at this magnet a little bit more because I really like the mining speed on this and I was thinking about changing but let's see if we can make this any better. I mean this has more durability, less velocity but this has a prefix and a suffix, this only has a prefix so let's see what we can do. Oh I ran out of it. I don't think I have any more, which is sad, but this is what we ended with. Uh, just copiously and durability. But I think I might just switch. I'm probably gonna switch. Do I have any emeralds? I don't. That's fine, I'll enchant it next time. More when I get emeralds. So we'll put that away. And boom, there we go. So I think we shall start the move we have. The, these two sacks and all of these shulker boxes to help us move so let us begin the great move Okay, that is everything on this side all that remains is all of this stuff which i might actually come back later okay time to take all of this over there and here we are i was actually pretty quick Okay guys, it has been quite a bit and just earlier I was just chilling and looking at my map just looking around seeing if I could see anything on the map and I was down here right and then I saw this <laughs> another ocean monument right next to this one I don't know how I didn't notice it at first and then I went a little bit lower and saw this snow island on the water and this looks really really cool so I want to go and check this out basically it is straight in this direction so let's go okay um not what I was expecting why is it in the sky? Can I even head up there? Wait, I'm going to attempt to head up there with my dash. It was right next to it. Okay, that exists. Good to know. Okay, we are nearly there. It's right there. Just gotta wait for our ability to just come back. And there we go. Surely, yes, we made it. Okay, we made it. It is literally just a floating ice. There are so many mobs in here. Okay, this could be very, very dangerous. Oh, it's like a giant cave down there. There is a giant cave down here with this stone which I'm guessing is kyanite uh, oh no calcite okay I think right here for now should be fine
Okay, guys, I'm back here, but I thought I could just do a quick fly around our mushroom island and look at what I find. There are three ocean monuments right next to my mushroom island. What is this seed? A giant mushroom island, three ocean monuments, a floating ice island, and now I'm seeing this. Since when was this here? I have no idea. I'm just seeing this. But this is like half... What? Never mind. These are also floating. What in the world is going on? Is this seed okay? I am heading up there now. I know I saw a little bit of this, but I didn't realize there were multiple floating islands around here. Okay, it seems- Oh, there's foxes! What biome is this? That's what I want to check. Sky Islands Autumn. Okay, so there's- It seems to be a specific mod that adds these sky islands. Good to know that this is not just normal terrain. Um, Terraliths. Now it's a deep ocean, now it's mushroom fields. So now I have three ocean monuments that exist. It would be really funny if there was one up here. By the look of it, these are different oceans. I'm pretty sure they only spawn in this ocean. So there could definitely be more in this direction by the look of it. Okay guys, that is everything. And I think it is time to run our vault. Our storage is a bit of a mess right now. As you can see, I have a two by two of double chests, which is a bit annoying, but hopefully we can unlock our first mod soon, which I am definitely going to grab a storage mod, which actually, oh uh, wait, let me see if we can make one right now. We need this, which requires that, which requires this which oh we just need one more oh so close so we just need one more beniotite and then we can actually get our first ever mod because we already have over eight of these and we have tons of old diamonds so just 16 at least beniotite gems so hopefully in this vault run we'll get that and we can test our test out our new chromatic iron paxel I should have probably enchanted but I don't think I have any emeralds right now yeah I only have one so let's get ready for this vault put the crystal down and I think we can go I might actually wait and eat a piece of cake okay there we go all full Let's go. Oh, Alexa Vault. Oh, oh, I forgot we're level 10 now. We should probably catch up with this as soon as possible. But I do need that netherite, which I think is my bounty right now, as I remember. So hopefully we can complete that. So wooden chests and coins I can break with this. Okay guys, that was really close. 
I even had to eat a, one lemon just to find that lodestone. Level 10 and above is really difficult. I underestimated it. I really need to upgrade my gear. I got one trapped in that, 65 looted. 26,000 XP. Let me sleep. I did complete my bounty as well, which was amazing. Okay, guys, this is everything that we got. This pickaxe really helped me out. It was really fast on the coins that I mined as well. Absolutely amazing. Our new crate spot shall be over here. So that was our first ever elixir vault. I think we did pretty good. Okay, let us claim our bounty. There we go, claim reward. Got these two now. Ooh, six Benyotite. I don't think I got a single Benyotite, even though I mined quite a bit. Yeah, I didn't get a single one. That is a bit crazy. We leveled up twice. I just realized we're level 12 now. My sword does not do enough damage to those mobs. And I know I had my elytra on, but I did switch in between uh, jewels. And we even got a wand, our first ever wand. We got 18 volt diamonds which is amazing no way another legendary a legendary item rarity 2.9 it's actually pretty good nearly maxed a flawless jewel shoveling picking and axing for 22 size it's gonna be so useful for my next two Axing, axing, 31, 22 size. Living affinity, nice. Smelting, okay. Vanilla immortality, okay. Okay, that is pretty amazing. These are okay, that's good. This one was absolutely insane. And another legendary. We got over a stack now. And of course that. Let us roll it. Our first, first ever wand. See how good it is. It's rare plus a lightning wand. Okay, I am gonna put this away. Probably not gonna use it just yet. But um, that is our first ever wand as well, which is amazing. Let us open our bounty crate. There we go. The main reason for that was for the netherite. Yes. Amazing. Let us open our main crate. There is no artifact. Let's pick it all up. Oh, I should have turned the magnet off. Oh, we got 15 gold. Nice. Three blank seals. Okay, yeah, they're in there. Another moat of clarity. Okay, and let us check our pouch. So everything in here. I, we did get a bitter lemon, so I got that lemon back that I used in there. Uh, we got... Okay, there we go. Let's check out the jewels. A item quantity, a mining speed, 28, okay. Uh, smelting, wooden affinity, that's a really good one. And an axing. There we go. It's filling up really quickly. Got tons of gear pieces as well okay that's everything let's start with the scrappy come on okay oh that's another wand as well six plus six percent cooldown reduction that's actually pretty good but i'm probably not going to use that since i am using a shield uh my shield right now is a rare yeah nope leggings it has a good amount of armor and more mana region i might switch so and let's check this one the main difference is durability and the suffixes so yeah i'm just gonna put this one away um amazing so we got new pair of leggings uh what level my chest plate still level zero Oh, yeah, I'll just equip it for now, but we didn't get 
Uh, oh no, that's not good. Uh, we'll do common plus. I'm guessing rare is better. Or I guess not rare is worse. Hmm. Okay, a twig. Poison cloud. That's actually really good. I do like my poison clouds. Um, but I'm going to put that away. Let's check this. Oh my. That is pretty good. Good. It has max attack speed, max attack damage, decent nether damage, slowness cloud, max attack speed for extra. This is an insane axe. Okay, let us roll the sword, see how it is. That is an insane axe, oh my goodness. That is a really good sword as well. I'm definitely switching. My sword is also level zero, so probably a good idea to switch. Yeah, that's my new sword, but let, let's just check this. It does have less attack speed, but it is maxed on the sword, and it does have extra. I might go axe. You know, I am going to reroll this sword to see if I can get better suffixes and prefixes than the axe. If I can't... And I'm probably gonna use this app. Though that nether damage is a bit annoying. Let's go see what we can do. Two chaining attack, healing cloud. That healing cloud would be nice. And attack speed. I'm gonna stick with that. Yeah. Let's see what we can do with this, actually. I wanna see if that can be better. We did only have one chance at that. Undead damage is pretty good. Poison cloud. And more attack range it's so much more damage to be honest i might just take both of these into the vault and see which i prefer i think that's what i'm probably gonna do i do have two unspent skill points which we can definitely use i really want to upgrade my javelin but it will take both you know what? let's just upgrade it it is fully learnt as well so amazing I could select one of these. For now, I'm just gonna stick to normal javelin. And there it is. Its cooldown is much less as well, which is amazing. Oh, that's all my bound for. So I'm just gonna activate that one for now. Um, hopefully, it is a monolith. My next vault run. You no, know while we're at it, let us place down. A crystal pumpkins I know where to find them sand I know where to find sand so that's okay raw cod I'm gonna have to go fishing and copper ingots I can definitely do I think we've done quite a bit this video we moved homes we explored a little bit as well found this insane island with another ocean monument under it and of course the snowy islands we found i might explore a little bit off camera and see what i find and then i'll show you guys but other than that i think we've done really good we're level 12 at the moment our armor is looking pretty decent we have a brand new sword sadly we got no emerald so we can't enchant anything just yet but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye